Charlie Gasparino with us right now uh, because the banks have a lot of issues to deal with, not the least of which is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Um, now, she's been a big critic of the banks, but she's not quick to want to meet with them. That, that, is, that is the case. And um, we should point out, this is kind of an interesting operating environment for the banks, as, as she went through some of those numbers. Goldman Sachs, in particular, that sort of dro drop is a problem. I mean, the, the th remember, the first quarter wasn't an entirely bad quarter, no. right, for trading. They, December was they, awful they, from the right? last quarter. So, right. they, so, in, so they lost money, and they lost this on trading. And, and that shows you the firm's business model needs to be changed fast, and I think David Solomon, the CEO, is doing it. They're so wedded to trading, they can't make money. On top of that, they're worrying about regulation now, that the Democrats are controlling Congress. On top of that, there's one Democrat that is really sucking all the steam out of everything. You know, she, she takes the oxygen, and that's Alexandria Cortez, um, Ocasio Cortez. Uh, we should point out that, you know, why do they care about a freshman congressman from a district that represents Queens and, uh, and, and the Bronx? Well, because she has such stature and she's pushing a lot of socialist economic issues. So what, what I understand is she is um, that some of the banks are trying to meet with her. They're doing it both individually and also they're talking to the New York City Partnership, which is their prime, their prime lobby group, and they're trying to get some dialogue with her. She is stiff arming them at every, every point, at every move. I heard some of the banks wanted to meet with her before the hearing last week when the bank CEOs were down in Washington for the, I guess, a, a, the, the, uh, the, um, the, the financial crisis, 10 years later financial crisis she hearing. She was a merciless questioner. Yeah, and okay. she said no. Yeah. Um, now, the question is, is this good politics or good policy? And I will just say this as someone who's covered Wall Street for a long time. They're the largest, even though they move out of New York every now and then, they're the largest private sector employer here. J.P. Morgan and, and Citigroup combined, I'm going by memory now, have about, you know, employ about 500,000 people. And it's not all bankers. I mean, these are tellers. I mean, these are retail banks, you know. They're in her neighborhood. Uh, so by dissing her, she doesn't have a voice at the table for some of the biggest employers of the people that she represents. But they're the ones who want to suck up to her, though. Yes, yes. So, but you would think she would want some dialogue. Um, and they, they are flummoxed. They can't believe it. Listen, everybody meets with these guys. That doesn't yeah. mean you have to hold their water. I mean, they, they're, the big, they're the big kahuna here in New York City, and she represents well, New she York she was very City. critical of campaigning, right, when she was going against Crowley. That, right. um, they got away with the financial meltdown. No one went right. to jail. No one got right. punished. And she said that wasn't right. And by the way, that saved jobs in her district. I mean, people forget that the yeah. bailout of Wall Street was essentially a bailout of New York City and its welfare state, because these firms pay a lot in taxes. Even with the tax cut we're getting from the federal government, they pay a ton in taxes. Well, they never get a chance to meet her um, or to sit down with her. What's that relationship going to devolve into? Uh, you know, she's going to keep attacking her. I, I guess she sees, and I was asking Hank Scheinkoff, who's a longtime Democratic sure. consultant, good friend of mine, I think, like, what is the calculus here? I mean, you should at least, even Comrade Bill de Blasio, the, con, the half commie mayor of New York City, meets with these guys. And he says, well, she just, she's just on a social crusade. She doesn't really care about her district. I'm paraphrasing. Right, she I cares know. less about her district than making the world a better place. So does she care? She cares more about the Green New Deal than she cares, which is kind of a 30,000 feet, you know, economic uh, government, uh, I guess, uh, involvement in the environment. She cares more about that than you know, what people right. in, in Queens uh, need to do every day. So that's where we are. They want to meet with her. She's saying no. Yes, I, I see what you did there. All right. Uh, thank you.